Right. <laughs> hey, listen, folks, if you are tuning in uh, and watching us on Ustream.tv, uh, you will see me wearing my Thought Screen helmet. And I wanted to talk about that uh, briefly. Uh, I was, uh, we had uh, a guest on the show, uh, Mr. Michael Menken, and he has a website, StopAbductions.com. And what he does is he makes these uh, thought screen helmets, and the thought screen helmet uh, prevents you from being abducted uh, by aliens. Um, yes. So we went over what we, we discussed many aspects of, of the helmet and, and what it could help you with. Yes, we did. And uh, he's, he was emailing me this week asking me if I had received the helmet, and the answer is obviously yes. I yes. wore it last week as yes, well. Yes, you did. And I wanted to uh, report back to Mr. Mencken that although I have not been abducted by aliens, by wearing the Thought Screen helmet, it makes me sleepy. Yes, you I, did mention that last week. I get drowsy. Well, I thought maybe it was just a coincidence. Right. You know, I mean, whatever. I, maybe I just ate too many carbs and got a little sleepy and, uh, you know, need to take a nap. It no. happens. I've done it on a full stomach. I've done it on an empty stomach. Uh, I've done it at night. I've done it during the day. And the Thought Screen Helmet uh, makes me drowsy. Oh. Maybe when you take it off, all the heat escapes. I don't uh, I've actually fallen asleep with it on my head. You would think it would be uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, you would think. I mean, you know, I mean, I have to well, have... it is a thought helmet, so thinking is part of that. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's Usually. you know, helping me to keep my thoughts. And, uh, and again, it repels the aliens, uh, according to Mr. Mencken. But he wanted to know what type of, you know, reaction I would have by wearing the helmet. Um... Uh, because he did discuss briefly that he was going to uh, take it to hospitals and have people who suffered head trauma and things like that uh, wear the helmet to see if uh, it had any uh, positive effects on them. So I'm, uh, <clears throat> I, I guess I'm happy to report back uh, to Mr. Mencken that uh, the uh, Thought Screen helmet that you were so kind enough to send me um, has now uh, a history of making me drowsy. I cannot wear this. Uh, for the next two hours. we got two hours left in the show. I cannot wear it. I swear to you, by 11 p.m., I will start getting drowsy, and i got a long ride home. Yeah, cool. we can take over the show. You know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so I just want to report back to Mr. Mencken that, for me, somebody who suffers from vertigo, uh, that, uh, you know, the thought screen helmet is, uh, it, 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 there's something about it, and it, it makes me drowsy. Um, I don't need Tylenol PMs. I don't, you know, I don't need anything like that to help me get to sleep anymore. Thought screen helmet, if I wear that in the house for three hours, four hours maybe, I just start dozing off. Boom. Nice. Done. So that's my report. Back to Mr. Mencken. And uh, if uh, you are curious about the thought screen helmet, if you want to know how to obtain one, um, I think he was very adamant that you have to prove to him that you were abducted by yes, aliens. Yes, Adamant about true. that. Yeah. So, and he's pretty good at screening people and knowing who's pulling his leg and who isn't. Right. Uh, but he also gives you information on his website, uh, uh, stopabductions.com. Uh, he gives you information on how to create your own thought screen helmet. So if you go to stopabductions.com, uh, you will see the step-by-step -step process. Uh, he tells you where to get the materials, uh, what uh, hats, helmets are suitable. Right. Um, I got the classic uh, leather motorcycle hat uh, helmet, so uh, which is really cool, you know. Um, and he'll tell you. He shows you step-by-step -step on how to make the thought screen helmet. So that's it. 
Uh, if you're on uh, Ustream right now watching us live, uh, you will see that I have it on, but I cannot have it on for very long uh, because I will get drowsy and uh, not good. Not good for no, uh, not, not good off. radio. No, you should take it off because you uh, almost fell asleep in mid-sentence. Yeah. I was just like, you know, start, I'm getting very relaxed. Nice. And I can't be relaxed. I got to be up. My energy's got to be up. Yeah, take you know. the damn thing off. So, uh, no, I, well, you know. Well, I'll I like it. It makes him look like Bob Backlund, you know. You know, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll take it off. I'll take it off in, in, in a little while. <laughs> but, uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Uh, Minkin. Hand, I folks. did receive it, as you can clearly see. And I'm reporting back to you that this is the effect that it has on me. It makes me sleepy, and uh, which is not a bad thing. I, I have a question. No. Does it protect you against illegal aliens, too, or is it just the ones that come up from outer space? Wait, you, you think this guy hasn't heard that joke before? Well, come on. <laughs> He's been making any of these for what, for 14 I mean, years? Some of these jokes, you know, they're old, but they're, they're funny and they're good. No, no that's, that's more like Internet podcast type humor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look here, AM boy. You, you, lay off, you lay off of my show. You lay off of my podcast. <laughs> yeah, podcast guy. All right, so uh, <laughs> you're not like ready for internet radio, so you podcast. So, anyways, uh, thank you, Mr. Menken, and uh, I will really? keep reporting Just to you on any changes going on with the use of the thought screen helmet. So. <laughs> Thank you.